Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I'm going to do my Ulta 21 Days of Beauty haul. I also purchased a few things from Marshalls that I'm going to show you guys, and yeah, but everything is purchased from Ulta, mostly. So, I purchased a lot this haul. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to myself. I'm saying sorry to myself because I look back on these hauls and I say, and I see, oh look, he purchased this. Did I love it? Did I hate it? Whatever. Because I will be doing haul updates now from the beginning of time of my YouTube channel, which was basically February of last year. And I will show you guys my updated or my rehauls that people like to do. I'm going to do a rehaul of all of the items that I purchased and tell you what I liked, what I didn't like, and what I could have gone without and what I could have, you know, not lived without. So I will be doing those in the future. But for now, let's just get into everything that I purchased. So first, I purchased the MAC Lip prep nude kit and this is in the velvet teddy kit i love my velvet teddy lipstick from mac i know it's not cruelty free but i freaking love it so this one has the primer the lip pencil and the velvet teddy lipstick so i'm super excited about that one so with that mac prep and prime lip kit i also got the mac mineralized mineralized skin finish powder in soft and gentle so you guys know that this was on one of my products to try in 2018 so i can finally cross this off my list i haven't actually tried it yet or opened it but i plan on it so i'm really excited about that one and the two samples that came with the mac stuff was the MAC False Lashes Extreme Black Mascara. It's like this tiny little tube. Like literally it's the size of my finger. So small. And then the MAC Lip Tensity. And I got three different shades here. I'm going to have to use a brush to get these. But I got Dough, Smoked Almond, and Mulling Spices. So I'm actually really excited to try those ones. I haven't tried any of those colors. So we will see how they go. I think the red one might actually be a really good red for me because I like those kind of deeper reds. So we'll see. I purchased a shampoo and conditioner on the on a whim basically from a girlfriend of mine she said that this shampoo and conditioner is supposed to be super super good for clarifying your um, roots and basically getting all the gunk that's built up in your scalp out so I plan on trying these out very soon I do feel like I'm getting a buildup on my scalp but this is from Shea Moisture and is the Sacha Inchi Oil Omega 3, 6, and 9 Rescue and Repair Clarifying Shampoo and Conditioner so I'll let you know what I think about those. I also ended up getting the Becca First Light Priming Filter which is the purple one and the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I do have one of these open already but it's about halfway used up so I plan on continuing using those but I love these primers honestly they are the best I love them the purple one for me is the best for winter time and the um, backlight priming filter one is the best for me for summertime because it really gives a really good glow to my skin and when I purchased both of these I got the free Becca Evermatte poreless priming perfecter so I'm gonna try this out and see if I like it it's just a little sample guy that I got free with it so we'll see then I purchased one of these love your fab skin by first aid beauty it has five little samples in here I know I love the face cleanser the lip therapy I am gonna throw in a giveaway it's not my favorite um, um, it does work really well, but it's really not my favorite. So I will be throwing that in a giveaway short, shortly. But yeah, I purchased one of these and I'm so happy I did because I love First Aid Beauty. Almost everything I've tried from them, I've absolutely loved. With that First Aid Beauty purchase, sorry, it's not like super organized. But with that, I got the Vitamin Hydrating Mist and I plan on using this for my no makeup days. I really like a facial spray for my no makeup days and then I typically end up putting a primer on just something to protect my skin and give me a little bit of SPF. So I have this vitamin hydrating mist and it's supposed to hydrate, revive, and refresh safe for sensitive skin. And yeah, I'm really excited to try this out. Like I said, I've been loving First Aid Beauty products. And then I got this little free kit thing here. So let's open it up because I purchased more from First Aid Beauty. Let's see. So in this little kit, I have some... Ooh, I have some facial radiance pads, just like a little travel size. I might even save this little kit to go to the cruise with me. This is a little facial cleanser. I love this cleanser. It's currently in my shower right now. 
And then also I got the Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration for dry parched skin. This I might end up using in the winter time, so I might save this because my skin has been getting a lot more normal lately. I do have combination skin, if you guys didn't know. I get really dry in the winter and really oily in the summer and then in the in between months I'm very very normal and right now I've been having very normal skin which is amazing but yeah I'm gonna try some more first aid beauty stuff and then a couple of items that I picked up from Ulta I picked up a couple of mists I actually like to use these as like a room mist or I like to spray myself really quick before I go to the gym so I don't stink or after the gym so one of these will probably go in my gym bag but I got the freshwater Freshwater Mist Fragrance Body Mist. I don't know, that's what it's called. It's like the blue tube. And then I got the Sweet Grapefruit Body Mist. So I, I'm excited about those. I think they're going to be good. And then I also got the Juice Infused Lip Oil by Ulta Beauty. And it's in the Jojoba and Peach scent. And I tried, if you guys remember, I tried a lip oil from Milani. And I freaking hated it. The top broke. It was too oily. It didn't, it didn't hydrate my lips at all and I've heard a lot of good things about the juice infused lip oils so I'm gonna try this out from Ulta Beauty and I will let you guys know what I think once I try it out for a little while I did end up picking up two Mario Badescu sprays I don't have either one of these already so I tried so I picked up the facial spray with aloe cucumber and green tea I'm thinking that this one is going to be my favorite I did pick up the full size because it's silly to pick up the smaller size when it's on such a good discount and then I pick up picked up the facial spray with aloe chamomile and lavender I'm gonna try this one before I go to bed and see if the lavender is calming for me but I do currently have the rose mist spray in the medium size bottle here it is here and I've been using this for before my makeup application and I've really been liking it so I figured I might as well pick up two of these and try them out and see if I like a different scent better but so far I really like them and I plan on continuing using them so there's that. I did end up picking up four of the Lorac Pro Matte Lip Colors, and these are like the lip pencil, not pencil, lip crayons. And I picked up Mauve, Spice, Grage, and Rose Brown. So let me just open up one of them so I can kind of show you what they look like. And these are going to go into my... Um, what is it called? My lip project that I have going on. I can't remember what it's called. I can link it down below though. Um, but this one is in the shade Rose Brown. So it's like this kind of format of lip product. And I really like this smaller format of lip pencils because not pencil, but lipstick because I have really small lips. So like the regular bullet lipstick is typically too big for my whole lip. It's that bad, I'm just saying. But anyways, I'm gonna try these out and give you guys a little review on them. I did pick up four colors, four very neutral colors because those are the colors I wear and so that I could kind of show you how different they look on my skin and give you guys a little review. So I plan on doing that at some point soon. Since I've been so into skincare lately and trying out different brands, I did pick up a couple skin laundry items. I picked up the Extra Jeep, <laughs> Extra Jeep? extra deep gel face wash and this is to help clean balance and remove spots so I don't know it looked really nice and I don't know I've never tried this brand and I haven't really heard much about it so I really wanted to form my own opinion about that one and then I picked up the hydrating cream face wash and this is supposed to clean hydrate and nourish so I'm really excited to try these out they were 10 bucks each which Honestly, this is a huge size for 10 bucks. And the applicator looks like that, which is not my favorite. I'd rather have a pump applicator or a squeezy tube, but I'll make it work. And yeah, we'll see how these go. And I will, if you guys want, I can give you a review on these. Oh, I forgot to show you because I picked up four of those lip colors from Lorac. They gave me a free Lorac Light Source 3 in 1 Illuminating Primer. So here it is here. It's just a small little sample size. And it says it's available in two shades, Dawn and Dusk. And it looks like I got the shade Dawn. So I'll try it out. From Smashbox, I did pick up the Photo Finish Primer Water. I am super excited about this one. I have not tried this yet but I plan to and then I also picked up a be legendary lipstick in the shade later and 
I picked this up because the Be Legendary formula is one of my favorite formulas and I just, it's so sleek and beautiful looking. Like look at that packaging. I just, I love it. And I think it, no, it's not magnet, it's just stuck. But I figured this would be a nice nude pink color for this summertime. I'm really excited to try that out, especially because I've been getting rid of a lot of my pink lip colors in my lip project that I have going on right now. It's lipstick roulette, that's what it is. I have my lipstick roulette going on and I've been getting rid of a lot of my lipstick colors, so I got that as well from Smashbox. And then because I bought those two and it went over a certain dollar number, I got the Smashbox Studio Swag Set and Slay Kit. And this comes with a photo finish pr foundation primer, which I already know I love. It comes with an always on liquid lipstick in Stepping Out, which you guys know is in my Drop 10 by Summer project pan. I can link that down below as well. Um, but that one's almost gone. I've used it so many times. I really love it. And I'm excited to have a, another one of them. It has the Be Legendary Liquid Pigment in Rose Before Bros. I've never tried that one and the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, which I also have not tried. So they're all like little sample sizes. I'm sure they're not deluxe size samples. I'm sure they're mini samples. But yeah, I was really excited to pick up all these. Okay, and then from Stila, I did pick up a Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Intense Black. You guys all know what this looks like. I have never tried it, so I figured I might as well pick it up and give it a try. And I also picked up a Stila Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Kitten Karma. Yes, Kitten Karma, and it is the Glitter and Glow. I'm super excited about this one as well. Here is a swatch of Kitten Karma here. I'm sure you guys have all either swatched it, used it, and have it, or have seen it being swatched before. But I was really excited to pick this up. Like I said, I have not tried any of these before. I've only swatched them in store and they are just gorgeous. So I plan on doing an eye look with this very, very soon. I'm super excited about it. So because I got those two Stila items that put me over the dollar limit to pick up the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara, and this is just a little sample. I will put this in my sample bin that I have going on right now for my newer samples, but I'm really excited to try this one. People have said that they love this one, that this is a go-to, must-have, whatever, so I'm excited to try it and form my own opinion on it, especially because I am now in a no-buy and all these little samples are gonna really come into use when I can't purchase anything, so. I will use this and figure out if I like it or not. So I keep finding random items from Ulta that I purchased. I purchased the Ulta Beauty Brow Tint in the shade Soft Brown and it is in packaging so I'm not gonna open it yet until I need it, but I figured I might as well try it. I really like the Essence one. Um, I really like the Benefit one, but why not have another option to try something, especially because Ulta goes on sale so often. So I figured I might as well try it and give it a go and see how I like it. Then, of course, I picked up two of the Anastasia Beverly Hill Hills Brow Wiz, and I got the shade Soft Brown. That is my correct shade, and I love these. I actually currently have one in my everyday makeup drawer, and it is right here. I'm sure I'm getting down to the wits of it because I've been using it almost every single day. Of course, I don't have it in my brows today, but I have been using it almost every single day. I really, really like this formula. It's not too dry, it's not too waxy. It's just perfect. Now I know why everybody raves about them, because they're awesome. So I will be putting these in my backup drawer for when I need another brow pencil, but right now I'm not gonna open these because they are gonna last me out the rest of the year. <laughs> the next items I got were from Eco Tools. There was a sale, I think it was like buy one, get one half off. You guys know I love these little sponges. Oh my God, these are the best thing ever to taking off your face mask. To be truthfully honest, you can just go buy a sponge at the store and take your mask off, but I really do like these. They're smaller, they're more compact. Um, they rinse out really, really quickly and easily when I'm ready to rinse them out. So I picked those up and it came with a little brush for putting on your face mask. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that or not. I don't know. I haven't really decided, but I picked this one up and also because it was buy one get one half off, I got finally I got a dry brush. I've been looking for a good one for a while and this one kind of caught my eye. And dry brushing is good for getting your skin's capillaries, you know, the very small veins and arteries in your skin, kind of getting them awake in the morning and awake before a shower. So when you shower, the water can really sink into your skin properly. There's 
a whole studies, like tons and tons of studies done on dry brushing. So I really wanted to pick it up and try it and see if I could get some better circulation going because I, I do have an ankle injury in, the, in my past and I do notice that I get a lot of Charlie horses and a lot of numbness in my foot still. So I hope that this can kind of combat some of those symptoms for me, but I'm gonna try this out and I plan on trying to do it twice a day, once in the morning and once at night once I open it and seeing how it'll go for me. So we'll see how that goes, but I'm really excited about both of these from EcoTools. So I also picked up the Pure Miracle Mist and this is like gold on the inside, I guess. I don't know, it just looked so intriguing to me and I really wanted to try it out. It like, look how beautiful that looks. I don't know, I'm gonna try it out and see how it goes. Like I said, I do have a couple facial sprays that I really, really like. I like the Pixi Milk, um, the Milky Mist stuff from Pixi. And I wanted to try out a few more. So I have the Mara Badescu, Badescu's, which I really do like. And I have this one to try out as well. So we'll see. And then I also picked up the Hey Honey 24-7 Honey Day and Night Cream. You guys already know, I probably should have picked up more than one of these, honestly. But you guys already know that I love this moisturizer. It is so good, you guys. So I currently have two of these samples of this moisturizer in my project Drop 10 by Summer project pan. And I'm almost done with one of them. Spoiler, sorry. Um, but I've really, really been enjoying this. My skin has not been clear, literally. And I think it's the combination between this and the day, a different moisturizer at night, and my rose hip oil that I've been putting on. My skin has not broken out even the tiniest bit, and I love it so much. I'm so happy. Anyways, I love this cream, this moisturizer. I really think that it was a steal at half or 40% off, I think it was. That is a steal for Hey Honey products. And I'm really, really happy to have the full size of it now. I'm not gonna open it until I finish up a few more of the moisturizers that I already have in my collection, but I'm so happy about this. I'm so happy to have the full size. Now I don't feel scared about using the little samples all the way up in this project pan because I can, because I have the full size now. And 40% off, I think, I think it was 40% off. That's a fantastic deal. So I could not be happier. Then these were actually a gift. I kind of mentioned it already. I picked up the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum. I picked up two of the little samples of that. These are not for me. These are actually going to go to my aunt in Florida. Her birthday is coming up in June. So I'm gonna send them to her for her birthday. And I know she's gonna be super happy because she loved this stuff. So. I'm really excited to give it to her and I love getting presents for people because if it makes somebody else feel better, it makes me feel good. So I'm just like that, I guess. Then something I'm really excited about that you guys knew I was gonna pick up is the Persona Identity Palette. I'm so happy to have this in my collection. I have been seeing this for a long time and I've been really excited about it, but I, haven't, I hadn't picked it up and I'm so glad that I did end up picking this up for this 21 days of beauty sale. I hear it's perfect for my color eyes and just for neutral looks and for everyday looks, which I do all the time. So yeah, I'm really, really excited about this one and I'll have to let you guys know what I think about it because I'm super excited. Then the last thing that I got for the 21 days of beauty sale, I ended up picking the Ulta Pink Z palette up. I have a ton of um, little single shadows that I need to start putting in a bigger palette. I do have a palette already filled with shadows, but I want another one. And I was figuring that this was the perfect size. I know that Z palette has a lot of controversy around them, but it was 10 bucks. It was the large size. And honestly, I am I feel like I'm more supporting Ulta than I am supporting Z palette. I know this is a collaboration, but I did end up picking it up because it was only $10 and your girl is looking for a sale. So I am excited about using this and putting in some of my single shadows in here. Okay guys, so finally I'm gonna move on to the products that I got from Marshalls. I figured I would show you what they look like. So I got the Coconut Rose Detox Foot Pads. These are supposed to, what I've used them already for, they actually stick like a sticker onto your foot and they're pink when they start out and then when you peel them off, they're all filled with all of your nastiness from your detox. Ugh, it was so gross peeling them off. I felt like they stunk too, like really bad. 
Mine weren't actually as bad as this. Mine had a lot of pink left in them, which makes me feel good, makes me feel like I didn't need to detox as much. But like I said, I'm gonna do these once a week and try to use them up and see if that's something I can use consistently or something that I should use maybe once a week for a month and then stop for two months and then once a week for a month, you know, to kind of save some money. But I have been looking into these for a long time for detoxing through my feet. And I was really excited to find these at Marshalls and these only cost $5.99. And you get five applications out of this because it says 10 pads, so you get five applications. Then I got this four pack of Karuna face masks. I am also excited about this one. I've heard a lot of good things about this. And this little four pack was for um, all skin types. It has an exfoliating mask, a hydrating mask, an antioxidant mask, and an age defying mask. So this set only cost $8. And I was really excited about that because this says the original price was 16 so this was half off so that's only two dollars a mask i'm really happy about that that's a great price anywhere you go because otherwise it would have been four dollars a mask so i'm really happy about that one then i got a couple of kat von d lipsticks i'm super excited to find these i have not tried the kat von d formula i got these shades cathedral and motorhead and i did open them up in store to check and make sure that they had not been touched or contaminated yet and they both still looked brand spanking new so even though motorhead isn't a color I would typically wear I've been getting more into those deeper berry tones especially for filming so I figured I would pick them up and try them out and see if I like this formula before I go ahead and buy something at full price so these each cost $7.99 each so eight bucks for a cap on D lipstick hello can you go wrong I don't think so. Then I picked up a product from Derma E. It's the Even Tone Brightening Serum. I am almost out of the serum that I am using right now at night, so I figured I would try this out. And this says it has licorice extract, vitamins B3 and C. So I don't know, I'm gonna try it out. I haven't tried out any Derma E products, I don't think. Have I tried out any Derma E products? I can't even recall one that I have tried out. So I guess this will be my first one. It only cost me $6.99 and it says compare at $12. So half off. I think that's a good price. Honestly, I think I saw this on Ulta Sephora maybe, and it was like way more than that, like 20 bucks. So I'm happy to have this at a lesser price. Then I picked up a tea tree oil. Tea tree and me are like best friends. Like tea tree it just works for me somehow. I don't know how, trust me, but it does. And this one's from Thursday Plantation and it is just the regular tea tree oil and it says it's 100% pure. Um, and then I like to look at the ingredients, but of course I can't find them anywhere on here. So I'm hoping that the ingredients are literally just tea tree oil. This is a vegan product and it is cruelty free. So here is the brand here if you're looking for something like that. And this cost me $11.99 and it was originally priced at $19. So it's not really that great of a deal, but like I said, me and tea tree oil, we're like, we're like buds. It's awesome. So I also have told you already that I picked up a rosehip oil and this has been what's making my skin so soft and so clear. I'm sure of it because this is the only thing I changed in my skincare routine except for adding in that other Hey Honey moisturizer and my skin has not been clear. Literally, I have no breakouts. It's amazing. But here it is here in case you guys are wondering. It is organic and cold pressed rosehip oil and it does have the drop style which I love because you just drop a few drops in your hand and then rub it together in your hands rub it all over your face I tend to stick more towards the outer rim of my face and then pull it in because the outer rim is where I'm the driest I highly recommend it I think this only cost me five or seven ninety nine one of the two but I threw away the box of the price tag sorry but I think it was seven ninety nine now that I'm thinking about it but I really really loved this and I will continue to love it and enjoy it and use it okay so the last two products that I got from Marshalls are both from too cool for school and you guys know that I have tried the egg mellow cream from too cool for school and I loved it this one came with a little rubber band and it's called the loose and silly dino plats loose setting powder and it's got a SPF of 27 and it says it's in the shade definition one so it's kind of cute you like roll it out and there's like 
I'll show you. It is like this seam on the inside, and then you finish rolling it all the way out. I don't know. The packaging is cute. I'm definitely going to put it in the recycle bin, but it's cute. I'll give it that. And then here is the setting powder. Oh, that's different. Am I supposed to like... Oh, I, okay, so it just comes right through the pad. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure this out and see if I like it. You can also unscrew it. Yeah, you can unscrew it and get it to just use it as normal. It does look like it has a tiniest bit of a hint of color to it, not completely translucent. So I will see about that. Here it is here. And it's in the shade number two, Beat Jam. Look at that. They have a cute little like dinosaur on there to tell you the color. And it just kind of comes out right here. It's just a potted lip balm. Oh my god, it smells amazing. Oh my god, it smells like oh, cherry Kool-Aid. <laughs> it smells like cherry Kool-Aid. Here it is here. It's just like just a red thing. I did open this in store just like the other things to make sure that nobody had touched it and contaminated it because a potted product is something that I definitely don't want anybody else's greasy little fingers in because that's disgusting. So that was my whole 21 days of beauty sale from Ulta and also some items from Marshalls that I picked up in the month of March and I think one day I picked up something one day in April so I'm just including that in a March collective money amount for you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful in some way, shape or form to you. Um, I know that hauls are really super helpful until you see the reviews. So like I said before, what, what is it baby? So anyways, as I, oh my God. So as I've said previously, I do plan on doing like a rehaul and showing you guys what I liked, what I didn't like, what I used, what I didn't end up using, whatever. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you subscribe below and ring the bell if you guys want to get notified for new videos from me. But thanks again for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.